Hello researchers, welcome to my next research video. You are with me, Professor Raju Shekharan. Today let us discuss what are the challenges are faced by part-time PhD scholars. What are the challenges are being faced by part-time PhD research scholars and what are the solutions for that? See, there are some five to six challenges in general uh, those challenges are being faced by part-time research scholars. First one, work pressure. Because when you do PhD as a part-time scholar, definitely you will be working somewhere else. So, you will have, you have to handle both your regular work, job or employment as well as the PhD. Sometimes it will become difficult to balance both. You may not find sufficient time. Challenge number one. Number two, work pressure. The present work pressure may not allow you to debut required time to do, do the PhD because you may not be able to read properly. You will not be able to write the things properly. That will be the big problem. That is a second issue. Work pressure may not allow you to debut as the required time. Third thing. Uh, it, it is. It may be the uh, case for many, but it may not be the case for somebody, because most of the part-time PhD research scholars, uh, they may be married people, because most of the people before marriage they used to do PhD. Mean they they will be a full-time scholar, but after marriage, uh, the normally the part-time PhD candidates will be a married people, and the uh, employees. So, employees, already we discussed the married person, you will have a family, you will have your own, in case you have kids and you have to take care of them also, and your spouses, sorry, not spouses, your spouse, and you have to take care of them, that will definitely uh, take a toll on your uh, PhD work. So, what, what, what are you supposed to do to handle all these things? See, see you know very well that uh, uh, having understood your present condition only, you have joined PhD. So, you have to plan in a such a way that you spend some time for your family, your job and spend some specific time for your PhD regularly. If you do in that way, absolutely you will be able to handle it. But the major problem many people what they will do, they will not allocate the time properly. Either they will allocate more time to PhD, less time to family or more time to work, less time to PhD. So, you need to have a perfect balance among family, work and PhD. Then only you will be able to handle. Otherwise, at the end of the day, you have to lose something. So, be very careful. Part-time candidate, in case you are a married person and you are working somewhere, you have to make sure that all these three things are uh, you know, equally balanced. And the last one, uh, not last one, you have three more problems. And part-time candidates do not have the PhD scholars as their peer group. Because part-time candidates, most of them, your friends will be your own employees, your own colleagues. So, you may not have the sufficient resources to discuss uh, your PhD with them. But whereas the full-time candidates, they always have this edge. There will be, they will be always surrounded with the full-time scholar. Their friends will be a full-time scholar. So, they can discuss many things with them. They can share and they can, what you call, learn many things, but you may be deprived of those particular options. So, for that, you need to have some of the full-time scholars as your friends. Whenever you have a discussion, whenever you have a doubt, probably you may discuss with them. Be in a constant touch with them. Since you are completely out of the track, out of the track means they will be doing regularly, 24 into 7, they will be doing research. But for you, you have so many other things also to do. So, keep uh, a track of, uh, keep a track with them. You have to keep a track of them. Otherwise, you will not, you will, you will not be stay updated. So, that, that challenge can be easily handled. You have in case you work, uh, you do a PhD, your guide may have another candidate who will be a full-time scholar. Keep in constant touch with that particular scholar. He may be able to update you what is the latest thing happening, what are the things you have to do, uh, you know, new and all those things. That will be a very important guidance for you. So, keep constant touch with the full-time scholars on your batch. And next thing, you may not have the sufficient resources also to complete, you know, to do a PhD. 
since you work and the, but the full time scholar they will be working in the university, they will be accessing the library, they will be accessing all the resources. But for you only one option will be available is online resources, online resources any, anything any, anybody can handle, anybody can ha have it. But some of the uh, resources you will not be able to download if you are not inside the campus. So for that you make sure that you spend at least one or two days in a month in the in within the university library. So you can take most of the resources whatever you need. And the another important challenge uh, part time candidates what, what, what they have, they may not meet the guide frequently. They will meet only then and there. So if you do, if you are not staying with the constant touch with your guide, absolutely it will take a lot of time to complete your PhD. So you make a point that every week you just you call your guide, you update what, what you have done or at least once in a month or at least once or twice in a month, you have to meet the guide and update what you have done. If you do not follow this particular procedure, absolutely, I will I'll tell you that you will take long time to complete PhD. And another important thing, whenever you meet your guide, make sure that you go with a certain solid results. Don't go with the empty hand. You you have you met him the last month. That the, uh, you, you again you are meeting in, in this month, but you don't have anything to show him. Then absolutely it will be a waste of time. So make sure that all these five to six parameters are taken care. See for time work pressure, you have to allot separate time for a family work and PGST and uh, you do not have the peer group, PGST peer group have a full time scholar as you are uh, one of the friends and you do not have the resources make sure that you are going to the university or a college which you are doing PGST spend at least one or two days in a month to get the resources what you want and make sure that you are in a, a constant touch with the uh, full time PGST scholars of your group to get to know what are the latest things are getting updated. And make sure that you are updating your guide once in a week or at least once in a fortnight and you meet him often at least once in a month or, or, or two months once you meet him and update so that you will be able to know how, what, how things are going on and he will give certain guide, guidelines to help you to uh, follow. And final thing, can part time PhD scholars can complete PhD within stipulated time? Many cases part time PhD candidates never complete within the stipulated time. But if you plan properly, if you work sincerely, you also can complete PhD within 3 to 4 years even in the part time. The only thing is proper planning and dedication, involvement and the interest if you do, if you so to your PhD work, absolutely you also can complete your uh, what you call PhD within stipulated time. In case you face any other challenge in your doing part time PhD, Kindly comment in this video. Let me answer you in the comment or in, in case you want to address some other issues, let me address in the next video about those issues. Okay, till then, bye and bye from uh, Rashikir. And if you have not subscribed, please uh, think to subscribe my channel and share to a friend, let them get benefited. I will catch you in the next video. Bye bye.